nice horseshoe ring on that sexy finger of yours. Real gold. You want to bite it to see? <laughs> I trust you. You want to get us some drinks? Looking to add to your collection. Howdy, stranger. Howdy. Oh, hey, it's you. What are you doing here? We are here for the necklace. So hand it over and we'll let you get back to conning this poor schmuck. Necklace? What necklace? The one you're hiding in there. Gee, you've paid off security to help assist you with your little scam. Quite the entrepreneur. Hey, Chloe. Guess who I found? The sexy British guy in the suit? Never seen him before in my life. Let's just uh, talk about how you're involved with Pablo's murder, OK? I had nothing to do with that. I'm a grifter, not a murderer. I worked my way onto Pablo's jet to steal the necklace. When I left, Pablo was alive. Where's the necklace now? I gave it to the person who hired me to steal it, an independent broker. Who? No idea. But if you agree to give me immunity for liberating that necklace, I can tell you where to find them. All right, then. Downtown tomorrow night, there's a black market jewelry auction exclusively for the rich and shady. That's where they're planning on reselling the necklace. Now that it's Pablo's last work, I bet the necklace will go for twice as much. I put in a highline we called Blood Bank. OK, let's plant this thing. Call CT Surge, please. Oh, my God, Jocelyn? You're her sister, aren't you? Yes, she, she called me from the accident. She said she was fine, and then I couldn't get a hold of her. What do you mean the chest tube punctured her liver? Is she unconscious? Wait, someone needs to tell me what happened. All I can tell you is that we're doing everything we can right now to make her better. But I need you to wait outside, please. You have to help her. I'm bleeding internally. Okay, hang another, Mama. All lines wide open. Tell them we need a room now. Is she dying? She's in distress. She's not dying. You people did this to her. It's your fault, and you need to save her. Steering committee, huh? You pushed for me. I vouched for you. And I thought it was the Atlantic article I wrote that went viral. New boobs didn't hurt either. How long do I have? Uh, 12 minutes. No, I mean before I go on, how much longer? Oh, shit, I forgot to reset the timer. Um, about five minutes. Hey there. Hi. I've been seeing you here a bunch lately. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm Forrest. Hey, I got a crazy question for you. Mm. Are you the woman in the glory hole? I have been putting my erect penis in that hole for the past week, and I just thought I'd recognize you. Wait, hang on. What a cute baby. What's his name? Marvin, from my father. Oh, that's so sweet. Have you two been looking at a lot of places in this neighborhood? <laughs> Pretending you're married? That's going a little far to prove your point, isn't it? Excuse me, but I think it's offensive to suggest the only reason gay people get married is to prove a point. I love your accent. Thank you. I practiced it all morning. <laughs> you are adorable. That Marshall's a lucky man. Aren't you ducky? <laughs> Seriously, if you were straight. I'd be all over you. Huh. Well, I'm free. Ready to see what it's like to be with a woman? I suppose there's a first time for everything. <laughs> Chris? Vanessa. What are you doing here? Uh, I work here. This is great. You had to start in that too long ago. They tell me I got a lot of potential, though, so. What? Well, um. On you, me? Uh, yeah, this is Chris. Chris, this is Charles. I'll wait for you to start with. How are you? You doing okay? Me? Yeah, no, I'm great. It was good seeing you, Chris. Good seeing you, too. Keep it real. Vanessa. Oh, God, not again. OK, Vanessa. Vanessa, will you wait a second? Vanessa. What, Chris? I, um, I, 
I gotta go, Chris.